Hello, my name is Devani, and thanks so much for tuning into Short Not Sweet. This week, I'll be talking about 2022's most iconic fashion pieces, the pieces that really stood out this year and really made an impact. And before we get started, I was inspired to do this video by a really cool article on Vogue.com called The 19 Fashion Items That Define 2022 by Laia Garcia Furtado. So I'll be talking about some of the items in her article and then adding some of my own. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, the first one I need to talk about is that darn Mew Mew mini skirt. If you've been on the internet, you've seen it, that little tiny little strip of fabric that they call a skirt, little pleated thing, that honestly, unless, <laughs> unless you are a supermodel or maybe like Nicole Kidman's figure, I don't know what you're gonna do with that thing. Maybe use it, you know, as an, like a little hand warmer in the winter. Girl, I don't know what else you can use. Maybe as a scarf. You know, if you got your braids in, a little scarf, that's all that it works for for me anyway. And that little thing has just been all over the darn zeitgeist. And I think it also helped to usher in that low rise, low cut jean, you know, Oh, and I've already gotten into that in a prior video. I am very anti low rise jeans. We are not going back to those days. Um, but it just cannot be denied how iconic that piece was, how much impact it has had on the culture, or at least in, in terms of like luxury fashion. It just really has been everywhere and really has had, you know, different inspiration everywhere. Um, also just in terms of like pleated skirts, like I've even jumped on the pleated skirt tra train, you know, not the tiny little itsy bitsy teeny weeny pleated skirt, but I got mine from like The Gap, you know, so everybody's doing like a version of the pleated skirt. I know Prada has another any mini itty bitty teeny weeny uh, mini, mini pleated skirt too. You just it was everywhere and it has to be mentioned because it was an iconic piece. Um, the next category I want to talk about is Loewe and that J W Anderson aesthetic. He is just really out there and a couple of pieces that he really uh, brought to the fore or that were really popular this year were those balloon heels where there's one that's kind of strappy and you and it's on the front it looks like a deflated balloon like your foot is like kind of like between the strap and your foot the balloon is being deflated there's another one where the b deflated balloon is like underneath your heel looks like you're stepping on it um i mean he also had that like pigeon purse i think that carrie bradshaw from the new that that uh sex in the city spinoff is carrying that darn thing i don't know why you would want to carry around a fake bird i don't know why you would want to carry around a real bird i mean i live in new york city and i have <laughs> i hate pigeons with the fire of a, a bajillion sons i cannot stand no darn pigeons why you would want to carry that around on your arm i just it boggles the mind really but jw anderson he's just been having a great time over at both loeve and his own brands i mean he had like dresses coming down the runway that looked like a like a I don't know, you had like a bumper on the front. There was a literal car on somebody's dress that he had. I don't know where the girls are wearing this to. I don't live that lifestyle. But J.W. Anderson, he really had the girls in a chokehold this year. And all of his strange little pieces were really popular. Some of his heels, her loeve, like one had like a rose in the heel. One was like a cracked egg. Another was um, a nail polish bottle. I mean, again, strange but i think it's a lot of fun and the thing that i think separates jw anderson from a lot of other designers that also do those out there pieces i feel like i don't know sometimes you know a lot of these designers for these women's wear brands are men and sometimes i feel like they're messing with us like i feel like they're like making fun of us a little bit but with jw anderson i almost feel like we're more in on the joke a little bit like it's ridiculous and it's over the top but he's like winking and we're like winking back too I don't know i don't know why i feel that way but I don't, for some reason I, i'm kind of with him on that even if i wouldn't buy a lot of that stuff okay so the next piece that i want to talk about is christopher john rogers and those like beautifully the stripes the dots all the color that he injected into fashion and you saw that on so many different celebrities i really would love to own a piece by him he makes beautiful knits with these rich colors just the definition of dopamine dressing that we really need right now in these like like post covid times we really need something to just really zhuzh up an outfit and zhuzh up our lives because things are still looking bleak girl they're still looking rough and christopher john rogers he has the remedy for us 
I don't know, just something about those colors and the stripes and the patterns and everything. And then the clothes, the cut of everything just looks so good. Um, there's a dress on Netta Porter right now on sale that just, it, it's like this long striped knit dress and then it comes with like this striped knit bolero, all these rainbow colors. I mean, it, even on sale, it's too, it's too expensive for me, girl. But still just so beautiful, he just, he just makes you happy you know he his clothes really just inject a lot of joy and you know i can use some joy so i need them sales to just go a little bit more sale or -er because you know i want to invest in a little piece myself okay so next i need to talk about oversized clothing now the article on vogue she talked about like oversized blazers and also like really wide pants but i think just oversized clothing period has been all over the zeitgeist this year and probably you know a, the past couple of years too i mean those big blazers by the frankie shop also like oversized trousers i know margella had a really great pair of like huge big wide jeans and i considered getting those but girl i'm i'm like five three on a good day it's not gonna work for me but they are so they're just so good oh my goodness you know oversized coats like girls have been really like digging in the back of their dad's closets and pulling out them oversized you know whatever the piece oversized accoutrement just really pulling them out and it's just been really interesting. Even those like really chunky big dad sandals over, I mean, they're not literally oversized, but they look oversized, you know? And sometimes I think it's really cute. Sometimes it's not really for me, but that has been so, such a huge thing um, over the past couple of seasons. And just really, really has been a, 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 a trend that has defined this past year. Okay, so the next thing is cowboy boots. And they are, because they're so popular, there is just something for everyone at every price point. You know, have you ever like had a piece in your wardrobe for a couple of years and then it comes back in style and you're like, ooh, look at me just being a trendsetter. I'm ahead of the curve. You know, I'm out here thinking I'm Rihanna or something, setting trends. I'm not, I know I'm not Rihanna. But you know, like I have a pair of Sam Edelman uh, like patent leather faux croc uh, cowboy boots and I really love those and so I've had them in my wardrobe for a couple of years so it's so cool to see this trend come back um, the, I know Ghani Ghani I don't know how you say it has a pair of uh, popular cowboy boots uh, I know Zara has a pair that I've seen on a couple of influencers and they actually if you go on their website they have a lot of different ones a lot of different like styles colors like definitely a lot of options if you're into this trend you might want to try it out um, and recently I've been looking for a pair of silver boots, just of any kind. I really want a pair of uh, metallic boots. And I found a pair of silver uh, Vince Camuto cowboy boots and they just came in the mail yesterday. And oh my God, I'm obsessed with those things. I mean, I don't know, you know, maybe I'm gonna look like I got some Reynolds wrap, you know, twisted around my feet, but guess what? That's none of my business. I'm excited about it. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna wear these yet. But when I do, best believe I will be posting, you know, a little short on the YouTube to show you. Man, I love those so much. Um, and I will also link them below because maybe I think they're still on sale. So if you're interested, I will link those. Next thing I wanted to talk about was statement chokers. Now, I think chokers have been like coming in and out the past couple of years, but I think this past year we've seen a lot of statementy chokers, particularly in like different metals. So a couple I wanted to talk about were, there were a couple from Zara that were super popular. I saw in a lot of influencers. There was one that had like the word love, just like in this like maybe gold metal, just like kind of in this beautiful calligraphy, derber, derber. I don't know, girl, just pretty wide. And they also had one that had like butterflies all over. They have a couple of different versions. And for those, like they're super pretty, but you gotta have like a long, like a like a statuesque neck. You gotta have a neck like Iman to pull those things off, girl. I can't, my neck too short. It's too, I can't, you know, this little necklace, this is all my neck can handle. I can't do all that. But you know, they're, those are super fabulous. Um, Vivian Westwood also has a really interesting choker. It has like these, grad, it's like a three strand, um, pearl choker and then it has like this little um i don't know metal covered in Swarovski crystal looks like a little planet with like a cross in the middle of it i've seen i've seen that a couple of times too super fabulous and if you like that vivian westwood um choker i've also seen a dupe on amazon for like 11 dollars. so i can't i can't speak to the quality but if you're just trying to get some pics off for the gram and you want that look 
I think that Amazon one might be the one for you. <laughs> so I'll link that as well. And then last, there also was that Chanel CC choker that was all over the place. Just like, it kind of like clipped on a little bit and had the, like the CCs around here. It wasn't as, it wasn't too wide, but it was definitely a statement. I'm sure it was ridiculously overpriced, but also just really fabulous. And I just, you know, it just speaks to that trend of seeing those statement chokers all over. The next thing I need to talk about, and this is one that I'm not very, <laughs> I, I have mixed feelings about it, and it's just all the darn collaborations that we've seen this year. Some cool, some not so cool. Um, one that I uh, really think stood out was the Birkenstock Manolo collaboration. Um, all the girls really wanted that, and I thought that it's one of those collaborations that when you see what they came up with, I think it really spoke to both of the brands, like the comfort of like those mono, those excuse me, Birkenstock slides, but then in those beautiful like jewel tone, like velvety colors with the uh, like the hangisi lookalike buckles on the Birkenstock. So you get the comfort of a Birkenstock, but like a little bit luxe version with the Manolo added touches. I don't know. I think that was really well done. Uh, very overpriced very overpriced for some darn burger stuff but you know what time we living in come on it's ridiculous uh, and then we have we just girl we have to talk about all the darn adidas collaborations that happened this year i mean i don't know if there was a blood pact if rumple stiltskin was involved if someone made an unbreakable vow like what the hell is going i don't know what's going on down to the adidas corporation but something something is amiss okay and they have worked with everyone i mean there was the product collaboration that was pretty low-key but i thought it you know blended the best of both of those brands i got a hat from that collection they worked with gucci i thought that was really cute i love the like the over the topness of gucci but then they had like the cute you know adidas touches to it and they like kind of like flipped the adidas logo for for gucci i thought that was cute you know expensive but you know it's gucci then we just we just really went downhill from there they had the balenciaga collab you know and i'm not gonna you know kick even further dirt on balenciaga they deserve all the dirt that's been kicked on them right now but you know i'm not gonna kick them even more but i'm just gonna say what a mess what what <laughs> boy <laughs> just in all in all meanings of the word such a mess that collaboration so unnecessary i just i just cannot I think um, Adidas also had a collaboration with the luggage brand Ramoa. Girl, why? Just why? I don't, I don't know. And then another collaboration that I thought was super, you know, I think made a huge impact for 2022 was the Fendace collab was released. Um, I think that also had, uh, you know, it was very important in the fashion world. Um, I guess my favorite piece is they made a, a lot of the cute baguettes, you know, and added that Versace twist on it um i also enjoyed a lot of the sunglasses so just you know a couple of pieces that really stood out to me and i think that all of those collaborations this was really the year of the collaboration and i'm sure that there's going to be so many more next year Oof, god help us all adidas cut it out all right now next i want to talk about cargo pants and i feel like the iconic piece that under this category for 2022 would be those Attico fern cargo pants. They're kind, they're very wide leg, back to that like oversized pant trend. Um, all kinds of pockets. They come in all different type of washes. Um, those retailed for I think over a thousand dollars. Although I am seeing a lot of different colorways go on sale now. So if you're into those, make sure you get those on sale. Um, but because they were trendy cargo pants, you can find them at every different price point. I have a pair from Girlfriend Denim. I got them on Revolve.com. Those are around the $235 mark. But you can get them from Nasty Gal, from Forever 21. There's just so many retailers you can get these from now and so many people make them. Just really cool. I know Frame has a pair. Those are kind of pricey too. I think they're like $430, something like that. And they're like satin and they come in this like black and they also come in a hot pink. I mean... Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. So those are the iconic pieces for 2022 that I noticed this year. What did I miss out on? What were some of your favorite and least favorite, you know, pieces that were super popular? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully this was fun. If it was, maybe you'll consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel. You can also check me out at shortnotsweet.com. 
Um, I'm also on Instagram and TikTok at Short Not Sweet Devony. Uh, in the meantime, I'll link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a great holiday season and please take care of yourself. Bye.